Illinois children caught up in the aftermath of this ruling. Some no longer required to wear a mask to school. That's right. News Channel 20's Jordan Elder is working for you now with how Illinois parents are approaching these changes with their children. Jordan. John Stacy, the overwhelming message parents told me they gave their children this morning was to be kind to people, whether they were wearing a mask or not. For some children, this is the first time in years that they've gone to school without a mask on. A Sangamon County order halting masks and exclusions for some students sparking conversations in homes across the state Monday morning. Schools and districts not even included in the lawsuit now changing their mask policies. My youngest is now in first grade and he has never stepped foot inside of a school without wearing a mask. Robert Huck's children go to a private school, but he says the ruling gives him hope that the mask mandate is close to an end. Teresa Miller moved two of her three kids to private school to make sure they could learn in person this year. Her oldest goes to New Berlin. What did you tell your kids before they left for school this morning? I told the girls, don't wear your masks in. If someone asks you, um, if you have a mask, tell them no, that your mom told you you weren't allowed to wear masks today. So New Berlin went mask optional, um, and I think that's that's perfectly great for him. It was a different conversation in the Gilbert House in Watsika, where a sixth grader and a sophomore were anxious to keep their masks on. We told him what all was going on, and he's like, well, I'm going to get bullied because I'm wearing a mask because a lot of the kids don't want to wear their masks. Gilbert says his sons did get bullied, but they chose to keep masking to protect themselves and others. Masks do help. They are not the total cure, but obviously they help greatly. Miller adamantly warning her children to be respectful of everyone's choices on such a divisive issue. I don't fault anyone that it feels like they need to wear a mask to protect themselves. And I just think that's the most important takeaway here is respecting the people in our community. As for what should come next, parents are split, especially because this guidance varies from district to district. A lot is expected to change with this lawsuit in the coming days and weeks, so we'll keep you updated as things unfold. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder. Back to you. Thanks, Jordan. Local health officials still say that masking is one of the best ways to slow the spread of the virus. Well, meanwhile, Governor Pritzker saying this ruling will take away protections for students and teachers in the affected districts.